So Nike and Sakai are back at it again with one of their most transcendent models in recent memory, the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle, this time in the dark iris colorway. In this video, we will go over how I feel about this specific colorway, the new material choice on the overlay, which is a nylon material, and how it matches up against the OG design, which features a mesh material on the overlay. If this is your first time watching the channel, my name is Chris Young, and I'm thankful that all of you decided to tune into today's video. Please be sure to hit the like button, comment your opinion on the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle in the dark iris colorway, ring that notification bell, and lastly, please be sure to subscribe so we continue to reach high for our goals. Once again, Again, thank you guys for watching today and without further ado let's go ahead and see, let's go ahead and see what these nike sakai vapor waffles are all about so if you were unfamiliar with the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle Dark Iris, this shoe originally released back on April 29th for a retail price of $180. It came out on the sneakers app alongside a Sesame Blue Void colorway, and both of those colorways sold out instantly, and they're going for a pretty good amount on the resale market. So to take a quick look at the box, you can see the box is done in this nice glossy orange finish with your Nike logo on the top of the box. And then on both sides of the box, you can see on one side, it starts out with the Nike swoosh in white. You have your N in cursive, and then on the other side of the box, you have your IKE finishing the Nike wording, and then you have the end of the Nike swoosh as well. And then on the front of the box, you can see the sizing tag is done in the left-hand corner, and it reads Nike Vapor Waffle slash Sakai, my personal size 11 and a half. And as I stated before, the suggested retail on this shoe was $180, and I had to get these on the aftermarket because when do I ever uh, take L's or take W's on the sneakers app? All right, so before I give you guys an in-depth full breakdown of the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle in the Dark Iris colorway, I want to give you guys a brief synopsis on how the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle came about. So if you are unfamiliar with this silhouette, this sneaker is a combination of two different Nike models, the Nike Vapor Waffle and the Nike Pegasus model from 1983. Now I know a lot of the sneaker community feels like this is an acquired taste, but in my opinion, I feel like Nike and Sakai pretty much knocked this silhouette out of the park. It is just something that we don't see on an everyday basis, and I can really commend Nike and Sakai for getting out of their comfort zone. So let's go ahead and take an in-depth review of the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle Dark Iris. All right guys, so starting out on the overlay of the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle Dark Iris, you can see it is comprised of two different material choices. The first material choice is a nylon, which differs from the OG model, which features mesh. And then on the toe box of this sneaker, you can see this comprised of a mostly rough textured suede, which kind of has a brush stroke effect, which I was very surprised to see from Nike. So the craftsmanship on this shoe is pretty well done, in my opinion. Uh, on the lateral side of the sneaker, it is done in in two Nike swooshes. The first Nike swoosh is done in this leather orange, so that is a very nice touch on the sneaker. And then the secondary Nike swoosh is painted on underneath and it is done in a navy color. Taking a look at the front of this sneaker, it is done in this purple suede collar which wraps around the laces. And if you are a big fan of the double aspect of the Nike Sakai line, you do see that there are two laces that are intertwined with one another. Uh, the first uh, set of laces are done in white and then your secondary laces are a flat ribbon lace which are done in navy and then taking a look at the medial side where there are two nike swooshes on the lateral side the medial side unfortunately only features one nike swoosh which is done in orange and then taking a look at the back of this sneaker on the heel tab you do have a orange heel tab and then you do have the nike sakai branding done in navy you do have a purple heel tab which allows you to get your feet in these rather easily and then at the bottom of the heel tab you do have a subtle navy nike swoosh right there as well you do have purple paneling around the orange heel tab and then there is a cutout piece on the lateral and the middle side which exposes the nylon material on the overlay and then where things tend to get a lot or really funky with this sneaker is on the stacked midsole so as I stated in the beginning of the video the midsole of this sneaker is inspired by the revolutionary design that Nike created which is the Nike vapor waffle but um, on the top midsole of this sneaker it appears to curve up which basically makes way for this sail wedge that goes in between the bottom midsole and the top midsole now my only gripe about the sail wedge is when you are driving obviously your feet go into your car mat a lot so this sail wedge is going to get extremely dirty with the dirt that is on your car mat so just be very vigilant and aware of that when you're wanting to purchase these on the aftermarket but that's pretty much my only gripe about this shoe is that this back piece will get very dirty very quickly uh, taking a look at the tongues of this sneaker there are two tongues so the primary tongue is done in purple and then the tag at the top of the tongue is done in white and it reads Nike sportswear made in Vietnam and there's an orange swoosh right there and then your secondary tongue is done in white and and then it has a white tag right there which features the Nike Sakai branding done in black. 
Um, taking a look at the outsole of this sneaker, it has your infamous uh, waffle iron outsole, and then you do have your Nike logo, which is embossed to the outsole right there in black. And I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it with this sneaker. The last thing that I wanted to note is on the insole, it is done in orange, and then you do have your Nike Sakai logo done in navy. So, I mean, overall, I'm pretty impressed with this sneaker. If I had to give it a rate out of 10, I would probably give these a solid 8.5. The only thing that I didn't like about this sneaker is why I do think that these are very inspired by the Clemson Tigers or the Phoenix Suns. I just didn't understand where they got the navy hits from. I feel like the navy kind of threw off the overall aesthetic of this sneaker. I feel like if there was a white where the navy was or if there was black, it would probably flow a lot better. But I just wasn't a big fan of the navy on this sneaker. So you guys can let me know how you feel about that down below in the comment section. And uh, we will go ahead and proceed. Uh, the next thing that I want to go over is, of course, the sizing. So if you were in the market for a Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle, I would definitely recommend going down half a size. One, because these do fit big and second they look big uh this is a size 11 and a half and in the camera these probably look like a true size 17 because the overall design of this sneaker is designed to look big and um i mean it's not a bad thing it's just when the shoe is already made to look big you don't want to make it look any bigger with your size so uh if you do go down half a size i feel like you will have a comfortable fit but you will also have a more aesthetically pleasing to the eye fit as well. And then the last thing that I wanted to detail is the comparison between the nylon material and the OG mesh material. Uh, if I had to choose one shoe to go with for like basically all around wear, I would definitely recommend going with the mesh material one just because, I mean, it adds another dimension to the Sakai Vapor Waffle. The nylon material one isn't bad. I just feel like the nylon material one is better suited for like the colder months, basically being from October to February. There's there's nothing wrong with both of these shoes. I feel like these are both uh, spectacular colorways that Nike and Sakai came up with, and I really feel like they haven't missed yet, and I definitely see these being in my rotation for many, many months to come. But yeah, let me know what you guys think is the better option, the mesh one or the nylon one, and um, I will pretty much leave you guys with that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos to come. The next thing that you will see is an on-foot look of the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle and the Dark Iris colorway. Stay safe, stay blessed, and I will see you guys on the next video.